YouTube, what's up? It's your man, Big B Productions 100. Tonight I'm going to show you as a cool way how to clear out Safari Cache and reset Safari to make your browsing history a lot easier, a lot snappier, and much faster when you're browsing the internet. Let's get started. I'm going to do a command in, open up Safari. Now, as you guys already know, you can go to history, clear out your history, and do all that good stuff, which I recommend that people should do that on a day-to-day -day basis. Don't keep all that crap inside your history and all of that. Okay, just to give you a little bit of information about this, okay. <clears throat> Apple Safari. Now, let's just say some of the programs and features that inside Safari can actually take up a lot of unnecessary space that you really don't need. For instance, you have your cache files. Okay, right up here, right there, left hand side, empty cache. We're going to go in there in just a second. You have your cache files. Okay, now, cache files is intended to make your browsing history a lot snappier, but it can also consume hundreds, and I mean hundreds of megabytes that's on your computer. If you let it, you know, just fill up on your whatever. So let's just say when it gets too big, it can actually slow down your browsing history and it can make your spotlight search and all of that stuff over here a lot slower and sluggish when you're trying to search something. So now mine is pretty fast when I try to search something because like I said, I do this a lot. So let's get right into it. We want to start by opening up Safari, which you should already have open at this point. You want to go up to your left hand corner and type Safari. You want to do a reset Safari. Now, when you reset Safari, it's also good to do this a lot. Because like I say, it can help speed up Safari, you know, make it a lot faster. So now you're presented with this little cool love box here and it will ask you before you do any reset, are you sure you want to reset Safari? Yes. Before you do a reset, make sure you only check the boxes that you want to reset. Because when you do this reset, I mean, it'll reset everything. So. I don't want you to do a reset and then you reset all your top sites and you're like, oh man, damn, I had all my top sites. Now you got to go back oh, and you know, sorry, did I break your concentration? you got to go back and you got to put all of your top sites back together. And yes, for any of you guys wondering out there, that was Samuel Jackson. <laughs> so like I said, before you do a full reset, make sure you only check the boxes that you want to check. Okay. In this case, I already done my reset. I'm not going to do it again because I have all my top sites together and I don't want to, you know, mess all that up. So. Like I said, if you don't want to mess that up, don't check your uh, your top sites. You know, only check the ones that you want to reset. So that's one of the ways <clears throat> you guys can do this and everything to speed up your Safari browsing and all of that good stuff. The last way, okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna empty out your cache. Now I don't know if a lot of you guys out there do this, but you should. So like I just did, just go up to the left hand corner, click on empty out your cache. Again, empty it out and that'll clear out all of the cash files and all of that stuff that you had inside Safari that you don't need. So this your boy, Big B Production 100. I hope this video was helpful for, you know, a lot of you guys out there that's, you know, using Safari or whatever. And you may be inside Safari browsing or trying to surf the web and it's kind of slow or sluggish taking for websites to open up. And now you see why, because you can have all that crap just, you know, cluttered inside Safari and I know it and it's best to clear that stuff out from time to time and do a reset. I recommend doing a reset on Safari. Mm, I say like maybe I do mine once a month. You may want to do yours more, but like I say, if you want to keep resetting on your top sites and all of that stuff like that, uh, <clears throat> you can by all means, but you know, make sure you only click on the boxes that you want to reset. So like I said, uh, yeah, empty out your cache. Make sure you empty out your cache and reset Safari every once in a while just to speed it up. You may use Firefox or Chrome or Opera. I, I don't know, but this video is basically for only the people out there that's using Safari. So it's your boy, Big B Production 100. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I hope you like this video. Please like, favorite if you want to. So uh, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to holler at you.